Hello, folks, and welcome to the show where every table tops the stage, and we are Millie Players. <laughs> Millie Players. <laughs> Millie Players. It's Max here, your GM, which means we're back in Soretta, back for another round of... Soretta. <laughs> <laughs> Name that Pokemon. Name the Pokemon. <laughs> it's Pikachu. I never knew who... It was rounds. <laughs> Yeah. Like round, you do like a round of Soretta, like a round, round of drinks and a round of... Round, round after round. Yeah, round uh, of Soretta. We're back at the table in Soretta, and we're joined by the usual folk today, so to my left we have the wonderful... <laughs> Jacob Caesar, it's playing Dwight. Emily Sortel, it's playing <laughs> Ethelie Frozen Shade. Austin Hayes, is playing <laughs> Revriel. Ellen Constable is playing. <laughs> you tried, you tried. Oh, you're Ellen, you tried. That's I'm what she gets for making fun of me. Oh, is playing. Sorry, Ross. There it is. Hey, there they also, are. can I just jump in there? Does Rost has a, have a T on the end? Yes. Yeah, Rost. I thought it was Sarah Ross. Like Bob Ross. <laughs> I went like Jonathan Ross. Yeah. I mean, Sarah. It, it took me a good three episodes. Put, it's not Sarah. <laughs> Sarah Ross. Look at all these pretty little birds. <laughs> Divine smite. Before we jump back in, I'll give a quick recap of what happened last session, and then we will carry on with what I think might be a little interrogation whilst this person's brother is being suffocated by it. <laughs> So, last time in the series, our band of folk here were continuing a combat with two new adversaries in both Car and Rick. Uh, two halflings which popped out of the halfling coat trio uh, that was once Caddick Shaw. Now, after an ensuing combat, one proving themselves to be a barbarian, uh, fighting against this giant toad, the other warlock magic fizzling in their fingertips. Almost convinced to talk initially until Reveriel attempted some magical mysteries upon them mm. to keep them still. One of them slipped away. Casting invisibility on themselves, Car decided to disappear and try and make their way towards one of the larger archaeological tents, the almost um, field lab that is in the area. Not until through some didacting and some very, very interesting chess work. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say from Austin, not from <laughs> facing against the DM themselves. Yeah. Um, both Ethelief and Revriel kind of uh, understood that Carl was making their way towards the tent and stopped them in their tracks, casting Spirit Guardians, uh, making an area effect difficult terrain, but not before Sarig could show their own martial prowess, completely taking out the barbarian. Um trying to keep them all on one HP so they could both be questioned, however the Toad necessarily not getting this message. And after failing multiple times to eat this individual, took a load off and just sat down. Okay. Took a Toad off! <laughs> took a Toad off! <laughs> <laughs> off and sat on their face! And sat on their face! Just <laughs> notes. Good time for me. Take a Toad off. Take a Toad off. Yeah. Sit on my face. Take a Toad off. <laughs> sit on my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ethelief, uh, taking point, moved into the field tent first, and seeing this mysterious object that Doit initially missed, focusing and said when he went in on the dying flowers on the table, Ethelief finding this gizmo, let's say, pocketed it and hid in the corner, waiting for Carr to enter. Don't feed it after midnight. Not <laughs> until... Car taking damage from Spirit Guardians, reappeared in the space, looking quite annoyed that whatever they wanted to take was no longer there. And that is where we pick up. Mm. We are currently still in initiative if we wish to be. Car has just taken damage from the Spirit Guardians, just having their turn. It would now be Rick. I'm actually gonna... We're gonna finish off initiative, unless you want to keep in it, with a death saving flow for Rick. That's a success. Great. Cool. You can move in initiative, or do we want to jump out of it, guys? Now that I know where he is and he's not invisible, I have no need to stay in initiative. But is he somewhat cornered you. by the two of you in the tent and outside of the tent? Yes. Yeah, you're inside the tent, yeah. I believe, and Rev is completely blocking the door with spirit guarding yeah. so that he has taken down. So yeah, right. let's, let's... And you can go out of initiative, yeah. initiative yeah. and he has yeah. half movement anyway, so... Cool. Yeah, great. Cool. <clears throat> what do I do? Um, I come out from hiding... And I have the little gizmo in my pocket. And I just get it out and I just hold it up <laughs> to him. <laughs> and I say, Do you want this? 
Well, I was going to try and get it, I suppose. Yep. Yeah. Why, um, why is it important to you? What, does, what's, what significance does this hold? Ah, it's just got some uses. It might be quite useful now. Oh, yeah? Well, and what, what are those uses? I can show you. No, I'm all right. You can just tell me, can you? Oh, I could. But just call off your fucking spirit gardens. And, oh, <laughs> well, I don't know that we'll do that, will we? That, that's going to no. happen. Natural one. <laughs> Okay, um... Explain! I'm just gonna keep... How, how often does he take damage? Uh, every six seconds. Okay, roll damage. Uh, so seven plus eight is fifteen, plus five is twenty. He's dead. Twenty points of damage, he is looking mighty fucked up. Great. You think that in six seconds... <laughs> he will die. I will... <clears throat> drop... I will drop spirit guardians. No insight check needed, that was a lot of damage. Gotcha. I will drop Spirit Guardians, but I will just be looking very like I am ready to cast another spell right at him if Full he takes off. Intimidation check for me. With advantage, because he is, like, he's clinging to life. He's on six hit points. He's clinging <laughs> on. He's gonna die. He was on 26. <laughs> he was okay. Ten. Ten? Yeah. Okay. Great. So I'll drop Spirit Guardians. <clears throat> right. Drop. Okay. Uh, I've been working on that thing there. Uh, I didn't really know what it does, but it harnesses the same energy of the crystals in kind of a reverse way. It's like a, it puts the alternative to a key to open the gate. Oh, I understand. So this is about do it. <coughs> Are you still a toad? Yeah. <coughs> Great. I'm just shouting through the tent. Do it. <coughs> How far away is Rick? He's probably about forty, forty-five feet away from you. I am going to. Cry. That's a bonus action. No, I I'm too far away from him. Do you want him? Yeah, can you bring can you bring him over here? <clears throat> I like bite him by like the back of his shirt. Oh, okay. a little scruff yeah. of yeah, like, his like, neck. Yeah. And so like, what's the movement speed? Uh, I think it's twenty. It's twenty. Okay. I'll go time. halfway. I'll back up a little bit and keep eyes on. Yeah. Car. Yep. Yeah. And have a handout to Rick. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna mage hand. Use my mage hand and just uh, hold Car. Okay. Cool. Yeah. You can. Yeah. On his shoulder. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Not like yeah. a. Yeah. No. 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 Just for sure. Yeah. You, you've got him on his shoulder. Great. Oh, great. Are you two the same thing? Are you two the same person? If you count family as the same person, then yeah, so you just kind of related as Carrick for a bit of fun, didn't we? Okay, so just remember this: when I saved your brother, and I'm going to cast Spare the Dying as soon as I can on can touch Rick, I'll cast Spare the Dying. Okay, again, chess moves. I think the movement for both of you will be within six seconds. He has had two deaths and two successes. Ah, great. So I'm going to roll a d20. Great. Just to see. Great. Because your movement was 20, mm-hmm. right, Yeah. Fuck, I can't bring it back either. Success. Oh, thank God. He's unconscious, he's stable. Great. Unlucky Remember when I tried to save his life and he just <laughs> happened to pull through anyway at the same time? All right, I'll read. That's a true one there. I was deceiving you earlier. It was a deception check I rolled before when I had my right, hands up. Just I so was... we're clear, yeah. That's why you took the 20 points of damage You're now. You're very perceptive, aren't you? Yeah, I do what I can. You're interesting. Have we met before? Your voice is familiar to me, which is why, I mean, I'm not really, the bre- I just kind of make stuff happen, you know. You're big. T- I, w- I was chosen to be the hands of the organization. And the shoulders, based on how you're talking. The shoulders, yeah, you know. Uh, yeah, my brother Shaw was more the talker, so. Have, have you, um, have you got this key to work before? No, I haven't. Interesting. Um, Doi. Uh, and I just get my um, short bow out and just like shoot, do it. <laughs> shoot, do it. Shoot, do it. Do you really? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make me the attack roll against the toad. Twenty-three. Yeah. Yeah, that'll hit. Yeah. Roll damage. I kind of just like open mouth and drop Rick on the floor. Like oh, oh, oh. he takes, he, he dies. <laughs> His neck cracks. <laughs> uh, it's only four. Four points of damage. Four, the toad looks very. Uh, Offended. It's happening yeah, again. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Pammy, Pammy, Pammy. Look, look, I just... You, you never mind. Never you mind. 
I mean, we're all asking questions. In Look, this kind we're of not all he's asking a, questions. He's a toad, and I want him to not be a toad any longer. However, it seems like he's going to be a toad for a while. Ah, just like, so, ah. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I just get on, I climb onto Deutz's back. <laughs> Punch him. <laughs> no, I climb onto Deutz's back, yeah. um, and I'm holding the gizmo. Okay, you've still got the gizmo. Yeah, and I'm going to um, try and, like, Yeehaw, doit over to the circle <laughs> at the back. I'm gonna try to yeehaw, doit. <laughs> Write yeah. that one down. Yeah. For, for me? No, 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 for oh, for doit. Oh yeah. Roll animal handling on I me, baby. Speak with animals if that's helpful. Twenty, dirty. 20. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. So yeah. Dirty. Hey, Lloyd, this is very like encouraging. Like, you got it. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> yeah. Over to the circle in the back. Where'd you get the, the cowboy hat? <laughs> and um, it's in my disguise kit. And I just want to see if now I'm holding this gizmo, I just put it on Doit's little toad head like when we're in the in the circle and just see if anything and, like, happens. like cross-eyed looking cool. up. Like, as mm-hmm. you hold this gizmo, as I said, it's like a circular, almost like a compass with two arrows, like almost as a north and south opposite each other, with this uh, salium, small little chunk of salium in the middle. There's like copper wire and runes all around it. It's very kind of makeshift, but it is quite ornate in what it is. You see that these two arrows do shift mm. as almost like, yeah, they kind of just rotate around, almost like unlocking and locking. Um, make me an arcana check if you want to try and work out how to use this thing, mm. Ethelief. Hmm. Fifteen. Fifteen. Um, yeah, you kind of look into it. Not exact. you've like dealt with intricate keys before certain like locks which may not be at first glance obvious um this thing doesn't look like any proper key you've come across if you gave it a twist it may do something i'll twist it if you give it the wrong twist it may not do the best thing i'll give it a twist (laughs) before you make a decision on that can Sarig see if she recognises the runes? Yeah, make me an arcana check for me. She's oh. not going to recognise the runes. That's uh, a four. Yikes. Cool, yeah. No runes you recognise. <sighs> Fucking dice. Want to twist it? I, I want to twist it. Yeah. Roll me a d20. No. Ooh. With advantage, because you rolled a right in your arcana. Okay. Thank God. Twelve. Add your wisdom, maybe. No, well, thirteen. Thirteen? Yeah. You're sitting astride a toad. I am. <laughs> and you Struggling. immolate. <laughs> and um, as you're holding the thing, you get closer to the, um, the circle of flowers as one beam of energy is still being hit into them. Um, Car is looking on. There is an element of anticipation in their face, but also something else behind their eyes. As you turn, you try and turn it clockwise and it doesn't give. There's something acting against it and it's almost encouraging you to go left. And as you bring this arrow to the left, um, slowly pointing it, in such a... 22. Perfect. It seems to want to pull itself towards the direction of wherever Rev Riel is standing. Mm. Rev, Rev, just yeah. come here. No. As it's getting closer and closer <laughs> to this direction, almost dead on, pointed towards Revriel, the little bit of salient in the middle starts to glow. Revriel! Revriel! Come here! <laughs> Stop barking, Austin. Come here! <laughs> I'm not letting... No. I'm not going... No. I'm sorry. I'm not Bring going away from him. Bring him with you, then. Uh, I will just harumphingly walk over yep. and just... Grab car car. I keep wanting to say it the way you say it, but it's car, right? No, it's car. K A R. Oh, there's an R. Car. Yeah, there is an R, but he's just he's English. It's no, car. It's car. Oh, it's car. <laughs> <laughs> it's just English. It's just English. <laughs> um, so I grab his shirt, yeah, and start dragging him over to the toad girl. And I, I just say, okay, Rev, can you just like sort of oscillate back and forth and just. See, I just want I to just see if the thing just start spinning in a like... circle. <laughs> yeah, it follows. Okay. You want me to walk? It doesn't do it on its own. It just seems the position it wants to sit at more comfortably. Yeah. It, it gives resistance to anywhere that isn't closer to Rev. Okay. Yeah? Rev, you'll just swap with me a minute. I'll, I'll take care of Carl. You want me to just... go sit on the toad? Yeah, and hold, <laughs> hold this. And I just get 
off door and give you the hold thing. It. I take the goose in mount. the middle, and I I go and like hold car. Great, and I sit on the toad. Still, is sitting on the toad the important part? Just <laughs> twist that thing. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to tell me twice. Twist it? Yeah, twist it. No resistance all the way around. You okay, it spins. What now? What, do you feel anything? Do I feel anything? The little sodium deposit in the middle is glowing quite a lot, as you can easily just twist this. It's glowy. This key round. It's glowy, and I can spin it. It wasn't glowing it's like for me. It's a combination lock. It was glowing lock. at you. It's like when I had lockers, and you okay, go. Well, can you unlock it? Wipe up. Is that okay? Am I allowed to well, speak? Well, yeah, it? sure. Okay, what do you want to say? That's never happened for me before. Yeah, I didn't think so. It didn't happen for me either. What? I mean. <laughs> If my theories are right, uh, and he kind of just goes into his pockets and brings out like a little like scraps of paper and um, just starts kind of rifling through them. It's like, ah, right, so, um, what a nerd. Maybe, <laughs> I mean, the brazier's still it. Yeah? Mm. Can I go and get some and it might power that crystal forest? If I get a bit of the fire, the green flame. I will. I'll, I'll go I'll, get some. Uh, no, no, I, I'll, I can. I can. Sorry, sorry. No, no. Sorry, that's fine. Please, can you get some no, fire? No, yes. No. Yes. Can I go and get I'll some fire? I'll keep my hands on Shaw. You can go and get some fire. Um, yeah. I mean, you'll have to um, pick up some of the little coaly bits yes. if you have a way of not burning yourself. Um, I have a candle. Take some of the candle. Yeah. Cool. Light it. How did you get from inside the crystal to being in front of me? We were never inside the crystal. You were inside the crystal. You were talking to old. Cristeliel. Cristeliel. Yeah, I know. But okay, like you. I know. I'm fascinated by that. Okay, but how did you get from... Okay, right. You're fine. How did you get from being on the other side of the crystal to being right in front of me? That was years ago. Years and years and years. That's why I'm fascinated by it. What do you mean that was years ago? It just happened. Mm-hmm. For well, you, yeah. But I guess time's kind of supple. When was that? How many... Like, you... Supple. Like, supple. Time. I love a supple time. <laughs> What do you mean? Like, is that my brother's (laughs) dying? I thought, was that before we ever met? Way before. So that was before you made a ghost version of me? A ghost version of you? What are you talking about? You made a ghost version of me. In the inn? I have no idea what you're talking about. Inside check. Yeah, inside check. Okay. It's still Irish. Damn it. Four plus eight is twelve. Hundred percent no idea what you're talking about. Mm. This is way back when, before we made a yeah, podcast. When you, when, you, <laughs> uh, when you thought you were scared of me and you ran away and you tried to we're, meddle in our affairs with the mayor. Yeah. When you thought I was scared. Yeah, exactly. When I thought I was scared of you. Now I'm not scared of you. Is that because I'm a third of my height? Yeah. Well, no. <laughs> Oh half, let's go. It's not about it's not about your height. I'm not judging you based on your height. I'm judging you based on the fact that you are actually three people rather than the one intimidating person. I oh, now find right. you a third less intimidating. Oh, I see. So, right, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Math checks out. Yeah. Um, you didn't make a ghost version of me to haunt my friends that was then dispelled by these magical green candles. I mean, that's a great idea. How did you, you turn from my office? You well, put those candles from my observatory. Is that what it was? Hey, look. You know what? I was working on them. We've all made choices. Yeah, I know. Okay, yes, I did. I did. I didn't <laughs> do anything to do with a ghost. I wouldn't even know how to bring one into being. So who would have? I think Rev's just gonna I don't fucking like, know. collapse on top of the frog. <laughs> What's going on? Hey, come on. Like, we were brought here to investigate this. We want to have all the answers now, would we? That feels like the DM speaking through. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you want to know more, it's about the other side of that little gate. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, got those candles. Got the candle wax. Yes. Do, I give <laughs> do you think? Yeah, your brother's safe. I think that your brother's my friend. I think it's you that's not safe. Do you think this, he's going to be helpful for us any longer? Oh, he. Based on the <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm just gonna threaten this guy. I think, I think based on the one m- mild interaction that I ever had with them when they were still the three, way back when, the one that's unconscious is the dumb one. Yeah. And the one that's here is the not dumb one. I think this is the smart one. Okay. I think the other one was just smart mouthed. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna get my. Hemp and rope. Okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna tie. Yeah. I'm gonna tie up 
Car and Rick is together really back to back. Necessary. Yes, yes it's, it's necessary. necessary. And I'm gonna tie Jesus. like all the way round, like as much oh. rope as possible, so you're like a little barrel sat down together. Fucking okay, yeah. hell! Okay, so tell us what to do. <laughs> I think maybe just. Well, welcome to the gang. Part of the ship, part of the crew, oh right? <laughs> We're not gonna kill them. I just no, no, don't no, want them no, to. No, I'm not condoning us. those actions. Actually, I think they're probably appropriate. Okay, um, good. But well, Hawana has something to do with this, no? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And you know, <laughs> thank you. Whoever <laughs> this guy is, obviously needed them, and, and so maybe we should find them before we Hawana. do anything with them. Hawana. A we just <laughs> start <laughs> shouting. <laughs> Hawana. <laughs> <laughs> where would where would Juana have gone? Well, I don't fucking know. Is she here with you? Yeah, but she yeah, works with she you. Was, yeah. Well, no, she'd be in our house, wouldn't she? Okay. Is she anywhere? But is she afraid of you for any reason? No, I don't think so. We didn't really chat. She just kind of just you know got in the way sometimes. So you tried. She to... thought I didn't know about it, but one hundred percent knew about it. But it made it a bit of an extra challenge. You know what I mean? Mm. So I didn't. In the... As in purposely, <laughs> as in got in the way o- on purpose to to. To just slow stuff down, but mm-hmm. didn't work, did it? Um, okay, so I think that we should. Um, well, okay, we need to find Juana. Stop sucking your teeth. We need to find Juana, but you tied me up. Yeah, yeah, you just need to sit there and be quiet. <sighs> like Rick is fully unconscious yeah. behind him. He's got of course, he's a, a full snorer. like. The weight of a barbarian. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, true. Probably not the happiest. Um, we need to find Juana. We also need to figure out what this gizmo does. I yeah. told you what the gizmo does. It opens the door. But okay, why it's is a it green flame? It might work. Why is it glowing for me? Sorry, my brother is <laughs> dead. <laughs> I don't fucking know, do I? You fascinate us. You talk to us through time. You think I'm not? Understanding what's going on. You've had years. I've had seconds. You could have figured out me in years. You've been working on me since you were decades ago. I've been working on me for two weeks. Light him up. Light him up. Light him up. Light me up. Mm. Do it. Beat me up, Scotty. Do it. Do it. Goes over to the candle and like tries to eat it. No, 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 no. I don't like it. Taste very nice. Okay, don't wait. Do you? I try to. Yeah, go yeah. on. Um, make me sleight of toad. No, that's not great. You can talk to him, right? Contested if you want. Um, Acrobatic, sorry, if you want to avoid it. Do you want one of my uh, dice? Five. No, we, in Ducky Dice we trust. Fourteen. You're fine. You don't know. Okay, well, I'm not in the circle anymore. Because you've, um, you've got Rev on top of you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but I, oh, but I definitely, oh! I definitely get out of the circle and, like, pout outside oh, boy. the circle. Okay, do, can you talk to him? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cast speak with animals. Okay, cool. You could always understand him, Doit, but now yeah, for yeah. some reason you feel <laughs> back. <laughs> <laughs> Doit, do, do you know where... Oh, who's this? <laughs> Doit, do you, know, um, do you know where Hawana might be? No. Can you... Can uh, Excellent. <laughs> Ask him... <laughs> giant toad says back to your friend's <laughs> Ask him why he's trying to eat a candle. Why, why are you trying to eat the candle, Doit? Doit? Doit doesn't like the green light around the circle. The circle can op- open up by itself. By itself. We don't need crystals or lights. Doit doesn't like adding things to a natural thing. Okay. It's like you're forcing the door open when the doors can just be open. So Doit doesn't want to use the candles or the crystals. Can you ask Doit a question for me? Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> Hi, buddy. How Oi. long... How long were you in the forest before you came to hang out with us? Uh... Oh... Doit remembers like Shake 200 him. years. <laughs> That's you remember years. 200 years? Yeah, but Doit was already old when Doit remembers Doit being in the forest. You don't remember being there beforehand? No, Doit was, Doit was already pretty much Doit when he was in the forest. So you actively remember 200 years. <clears throat> you're very old though, right? Didn't, <clears throat> you say, didn't you say you're like 700 years old? 720. 720 years old. So there's 500 years unaccounted for. Like the rings of a tree. <laughs> if I cut open this frog, how many rings will it have? 720. 720. <laughs> Very specifically, 700. Um, okay, and, and, and you, in the... All right, yeah, the, so, yeah. Uh, hello. How, how long ago was it that you um, spoke to 
Revrio. Cristelio. Cristelio. Cristelio, about a decade. A singular decade. Singular decade. Just one decade. How old are you? Oh, actually, no, we don't celebrate our coming into being, you know. What do you mean, coming into saying, yeah. Oh, birth, sorry. No. That feels, that's a weird, weird way to say birth. Yeah, what, what do you, why didn't you say birth I came into being, you were birthed. You came into being. It was birthed. That's a great question. You've had a decade to work on that. I've had a few weeks. The answer is through that circle of stuff. But why, why are you so interested? You just light up that thing you're holding. I'll get my answers and you'll get yours. Why not, do I I can't talk to you. Why not? But I, but you can hear me. <laughs> yeah, he do I, yeah, do I, do I knows the door can just be opened. But don't you want to go back? I'm assuming you translate. Naturally. <laughs> don't you want to go back to the other side? You're from the other side, right? Right. But, We've established that, but yes. But by your own means, right? Yeah. Well, that's not no, just me jumping to a conclusion. By, <laughs> by, by the means of the door. How else do you go into a place? Well, right now we're kicking the door open. Maybe if you just like ask that. nicely. Can you ask nicely? Um, Not in the presence of the people that might want to use it for ill will. We could kill them. The yeah, well, we the, could kill them. Doit knows the other side's fine, and the other side's okay. But they're stopping people from getting in on this side, which makes me think Doit needs to be on the side of the other side. On this side. Hey, uh, Care Dick Shaw over here. What, um, what, where's the Salium from? What side? That was my question. No, Team. I mean, what side? What side of... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to high five Sarek. Rev just holds up a hand for a high five. Sarek completely ignores it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I mean, what size? Is it in this plane or the other? <laughs> yeah. It's from this plane. No, but where did you get it from? We got it from this plane. No, I'm not talking about planes, I'm talking about location. Location? There's almost from. Oh, I don't know where these ones are from. These ones from around about Pantora. Yeah, that one was... We took them from, well, all over the place, you know, because they were given to us. By who? The old smuggler friend of yours. Do you know a small toad figure? Doit. <laughs> small toad figure? <laughs> yeah. No. Okay. Doit's a big what toad. What are they called? Becky? No. Beth. Beth. Becky. Do you know a Beth? We don't know a Beth. Were you ever a Beth? Was I a Beth? Are we a Beth? What is... They kind of think back. Beth. I don't think we've ever been a Beth. Not that I can remember, no. What about your brother Grunyuk? Have you ever been a Beth? Grunyuk's never been a Beth. Grunyuk's barely a Grunyuk, isn't he? <laughs> is Grunyuk the same thing as you? Well, that'd be telling him, wouldn't it? Yes. Don't so want to spoil the surprise for you or for him. But oh, wow, I think it... It's a, well, I mean... I just did 20 damage to you in 6 seconds, so we want to go for another 20? You can kill me if you want. But you'll <laughs> never know what that thing does without me, you know. Yeah, but we can. Well, maybe you will. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll die and then you'll try it. And that'll be your ultimate revenge is for me not to see the final bit of my ass piece. Mm. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. That's enough for me to kill him. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let's you want to kill him? How yeah, are we going? Go Sorry. We've got... <laughs> is there what anything else that you could tell me about me before I kill you? Oh, I'm going to do that before I die? Yeah. Well, <laughs> we're not going to kill you. It's a trap. <laughs> 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 You've really started to fit into this group so well. You know that, Miss Sargras. Want me to take him out? Yeah. I, I, what do you do? I think. Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, dear. Just load it for me. No. Yeah. No. I want to. No, so no, no. Bad. Let's just kill him first and then light it. Oh, you can kill me whatever. Mm -hmm. She'll probably kill me anyway. Ah, yes, Madam Pointer's Bree. Yeah, she's awkward. I'm kind of acting on borrowed time. I'm actually surprised my life so far. And she's not your mum. Is she your maker? Same thing? One of the same, right? No! no. Um, Wouldn't you say that your mother's made you? Well, but look, it takes two to tango. We don't need to get into that now. Not always. Really? Bad the joke. <laughs> <laughs> the toad said it takes two to tango. It's true, it does. Did it take Not two with you, though, to eh, tango? Oh. I was pointed at. <laughs> that was pointed. <laughs> you came into me and you're speaking in the riddles that I am, so. That's I don't know, I just, boy. I just, I woke up like this. Go on. You're all, <laughs> oh, darling. You're all investigators, right? One of you's got a big book trying to search for knowledge. And the other one of you is wanting to know what they are. Yeah. Right? That's yeah. correct. Yes. We're all searching for stuff. Right. All of us together. No, well, I don't Me know. Me included. What are you searching Sorry. for? So, I'm an answer for you. And then once that's done, I'll die. 
How about that? Do you know how wonderful Written it feels? Written by Martin to... McDonough. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Do you know how wonderful it feels to be this, such a central figure to someone's life who you don't even know who they are, that they're okay with dying once they know about you? I'm flattered. I can kill him? Um, how do you know about my book? <laughs> please? Hmm? How do you know about my book, please? The book over there. I recognize the symbol. Easy. What do you mean? The symbol on the front of your book. Yes, but how do you know it's... I'm, I'm searching for knowledge. How? You got one of those books. You didn't steal it, did you? You got the kind of mannerisms of people that come around looking for knowledge with those books. No, but not everybody is looking for the same... What kinds of people thing? are those? Eh? What kind of people are those? Is that my place to say? So, yes. Can I? Before I die, we're going to kill me now. What's going to happen? <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. I think we should kill him. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm inclined to not kill him. <laughs> me too. I want to know what on earth. Okay, speak for your life. I think I've done a pretty good job. No, you've told no, us nothing. Yeah. You've told us nothing. You've told us nothing. I just got answers, just like you got answers, basically. What's the book? That's not my place to say. I don't want to mess up your team dynamic. Sorry, what's the book? It's the book. Yes. What's the, I've told you before, it's the guidebook. With the, for, who's we, we, we have, we, we how's you recognise the runes? Why have you done this? <laughs> <laughs> the runes? I don't recognise the runes. Remember? I rolled poorly. <laughs> I don't recognise the runes. No, you don't recognise the runes on the uh, thing. I'm just going to... I'm just going to meta game after seeing a DM roll and smile. <laughs> Uh, no, it's okay. He only had two spells last time. <laughs> One of them was to go invisible. My brain, my brain, my brain. My brain. What do you... The, the smuggler, the smuggler. What was his name? Um, 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 um... Thief. What's his name? I don't know oh. these people. Oh, Tuck. um... Tuck. Um, Tuck. No. Tuck. The, his father. What do you know of Tuck's father? Dwayne thinks you're dodging the question. Same. I'm not. <laughs> you know what? If you recognise the runes, what do you know of that... Took's father and, and the runes. Oh. Oh. What? Yeah. Ow. <laughs> I'm dumb. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm just going to look at him and then I'm just going to go, tell us. And I'm going to cast Zone of Truth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a big waste of time, wasn't it? <laughs> go on, what do I need to make? A wisdom saving throw. <laughs> swear to God if you save. Uh, I rolled a 17. Fuck. Oh. Alright, you save. And an 11. One of them is a fail. Cool. Yeah, oh, Rick yeah. failed. Yeah, of course, Rick failed. Oh, Rick failed. Does Rick know everything <laughs> Everything that you know? Definitely not. <laughs> he puts his hand <laughs> That's a... He puts both hands to his mouth. You're fake. Wait, how, you motherfucker? Sacred flame! <laughs> Sacred flame? Yeah. <laughs> okay, go. 16 plus 8 to hit. Yeah, that is. Great. Oh, no. It's good, because he shouldn't be able to even get his hands to That's his That's the point. He untied him. him. Exactly. I didn't even recognise what happened. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was like, what's everyone freaking out about? <laughs> <laughs> I just have to get over a six on this D8. Seven. Seven. Cool. He starts to smile, um, and just <laughs> sacred flame burns through him as oh. he just starts to turn to a puddle of grey gloop. Bye. Oh. Rev, that's the most badass thing I've ever seen you do. Yeah. <laughs> I blow off my hand like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my hand! It's gone! <laughs> I holster my hand in my pocket. What an image. Rick, who is like kind of still unconscious and asleep, just falls backwards into the puddle of his brother. Ooh! Poor Rick. All right, well... Okay. In the zone of truth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wait, he can tell us things. Um, Wake him up. Uh, I go and like lick his face yeah. a couple times. I mean, I can spend toe. another spell slot <laughs> and cure wounds on him. On the puddle? No, 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 no. no, no. On Rick. I mean, he's got. He's like. He's unconscious, but he's stable. Yeah. I mean, if the lick doesn't wake him up, I'll sort him out. Yeah. Can somebody wake him up? I just give him a little slap with my mage hand. <laughs> <laughs> ah, my head, broken hearts. Oh, he's oh. awake. It works. Oh, my cover didn't give. I'll give him one more lick. Don't think too hard about it. Um, Good morning. I don't think hard at all. That's have, my guy. We have some questions. Um, You're part of the gang. Welcome. Why are you asking me? Just ask my brother. Yeah, he stepped he, out. He's gone out for a he's walk. He's just gone for a little stroll. He died. 
You're a frog. You're a frog. Okay. <laughs> You're a frog. <laughs> you heard. Rub, rub. I just go. Do it. Two on insight. All oh, right. He'll be back. Yes. He will. Yes. He'll he be will. back. He will be back indeed. Um, can I just ask if if this is a face that you might put a name to? The wrong. Indicating my face. What are yours? Yeah. No. Excellent. Never seen you before. What about my face? No, not your face, but your voice is mighty familiar. I think we've had a conversation. Over. Like a decade ago, we were friends. Rick, yeah, Christia- then, Christelle Yell, the, the adventures we could have had. No, and then I've been stuck here being the most of keeping them all safe, walking them around all the time. Really kind of got my back. Got a bit of a backache from all we those will years. Walk, we'll walk you around. Oh, thank you very much. It's a toad. <laughs> Put him on the toad. Put the hey, toad. put him on the toad. Take I hop a, off the toad. Take a toad off. Take a toad off. Yeah, okay, toad <laughs> Sit on his face. <laughs> <laughs> it's only fair. Okay, so, Rick, we've got some questions. All right, so. First up, Sarig. Do you recognize this book? No. Okay. Second up, Etherleaf. I... Do, uh, how, where's, where's Juana? No, don't know. Third up, Doit. I never really talked to Juana. Why not? Oh, yeah, because you were the... I was the legs. No one really talked. You know, my face was a crotch for many years. Yeah, that must be very Did you just... Were you pissing or sneezing? <laughs> that was that was Doit's question. Right? Do you pee at your you nose? What's the difference? Isn't a sneeze just a piss from your face? Mm-hmm. Doit can't argue with that. That's my question. <laughs> just a beer just fluid. <laughs> what did you just say? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Just as mucusy. Ew. Ew. Mm. Oh. You gloopy boys. <laughs> He's covered in his yeah. <laughs> Good. Um, okay, so next question. What's on the other side of this gate? Well, I was over here and things, and apparently there's a group of people that are keeping the mother out. Or at least part of her is over there and she wants the other part to connect with the part that's over here so that she can kind of live in peace. Who's the... What's the... The mother? The mother's our mother. Oh, my own Pointersbury. The Pointersbury family. And there's a part of her that's over there. Yeah, like part of her energy she didn't fully come across when she was trying to get over here. So you're from over there? I'm from over here. But she's from over there. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, why does this crystal glow when it's near me? I don't know that. Okay. But, uh, Kyle was very interested in it, just in case it's like a failsafe or something. Okay. Do you know anything about me? I know nothing about you, apart from that we talked before. I know, we go back, we're, we're friends. What, a, what about the tiger? The tiger? Mm. That. Okay, good. Taz? Taz worked for... Stilgar Shards, if my yeah. tree is correct. Yes. You know, because, like, Shaw and Carr were more the brains of the operation, kind of putting it all together. Okay. We just investigated and I just kept myself. Was she the one that got the uh, crystal? Shards was, I think, yes. Interesting. And who who was the other one? There's the three of you, right? And you all work for... Is it the mother? Yeah, we work who, for the mother, yeah. Who is the other one that works with you? What, the three? The one you killed first? No, the, the other one. No, like the, you, you're like in charge. Not, not, like, not your, oh, not your brother. There's the head, the, the helicopter guard. Yeah. Uh, last question for me, I think. But we'll come back to you because we're gonna hang out forever. Um, do you remember when you were born? I guess nobody remembers when they're born. Were you born like a person's born, or were you born like I was born? I don't know how you were born. I can't answer that question without. The... Did you just pop up? I just remember waking up. Wait, did you, when you woke up, were you? Have you always been exactly the same? Have you ever changed? Did you? Oh, grow- well, I change a lot. I can do it. I can change. Oh yeah. I can do it. Uh, okay. Well, I, look, I, look, I guess we kind of settled on this one. That's right. So that's how you look. Yeah. That's say. Let's that's say that's that's, uh, that's Rick A. Rick A. Did you always? Were you when you first Rick became? A. <laughs> 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 well, okay. Sorry, I, I suddenly understood a frog for a second. This <laughs> isn't it, Ricky. Um, Ricky. Were you always Ricky? Was, what happened to Rick B? Were you ever young B. Ricky? Little Rick. Little Rick? No. I was always like this again. Interesting. Mm. Do you dream? Time. Yeah. I guess. I have dreams. Okay. Boy, do I have dreams. <laughs> Boy, do you have dreams. Good dreams? 
No, I mean, I don't dream necessarily. Sexy dreams? We don't really sleep. Opposite of you, then, Rev. I love, I love a good sleep. Except for now I get this cool hat. It's a nice hat. Right, we need to... What are we going to... We need to find Juana. I mean, we could kill him. We need to find Yeah, we could kill him. Sorry? (laughs) No, no, nothing. No. Don't worry about it, honey. We'll we'll leave you here until your brother comes back. All right. We're just going to... So, your brother said that you have a habit of wandering off because you're so used to being legs... Yeah. So we're just gonna tie you to this tree, so that in case you oh, get okay. in case you get bored, maybe it's just like a muscle memory thing. Right. Just you're just you used to being legs that yeah, you just start walking. Yeah, you did that a little bit just before, actually, whilst you, you know, were. Is that yeah. When I was you were just walking sleep, around, sleepwalking. Yeah, sleep sleep yeah. 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 So I think we're just gonna tie you up to this tree, and then you can just wait here until, you, until your brother comes back. Okay. <laughs> you want to tie him up to the tree? <laughs> yeah. I'm totally ready to tie him. <laughs> Can we light the candle now? Mm-mm. I really no. don't think that. Dwight, Dwight? Dwight, doesn't, yeah, Dwight doesn't like the candle. Why? If, well, if there's a way that's natural to go through the... How do we go... Okay, can well, you get us there naturally? I don't know. The other side doesn't want this side to get in, so they're not letting anything in the inside, but that I means you... speak with animals last. <laughs> it's, not that, it's not that long. It's about ten minutes, I think. It is indeed ten minutes, yeah. Cool. Probably about two more minutes. Great. Oh, yeah, the, the other side doesn't want this side to get on that side is that because the way that people were trying to access the other side from this side is is not good i think that has to do with something with but the mom. we're good right but i think that has to do with something with the mother wanting her other part of her mother on the other side okay but if we were to perhaps find a way to get through that well, is we could not... probably ask okay hey, let's ask. but maybe we should get honor to help because um, speak with animals actually only lasts for about 10 minutes and yeah and i have a lot of <laughs> I pull. I just. I just get my little. My I pull out my out. dagger. Yeah, I look at Rev. Give I, a rapier out. Okay, Sarig. I can fix this. Get your sword this. out. Ready? Um, what's happening? Joy just has a really sad. Have you ever heard? <laughs> have you ever heard of a pinata? Yeah. Um, it's just like it's a pinata. Like okay. And uh, Joy's just Doi, very accepting sorry. and just sad. And we just like yeah. We I like, stab and I stab too. I'm on top. <laughs> you notice two of Joy's best friends just go to the <laughs> town on this toad. Rick, who has started tying himself up onto a tree, noticing you two are now preoccupied with maiming your friend. John's still slightly affected by Zone of Truth with abject horror. <laughs> you hack away at this toad. Just toad blood all over me. Just. <laughs> Is this how you treat the people that you love? Yes, we're trying to... Stop it, stop it, stop it! Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, 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 sorry. Hey, buddy. Sorry. I hate that. I you know it hurts. Sorry, but yeah. you just had... You were such a big creature this but time. But the pain doesn't transfer over. Mm. No. <laughs> the pain's gone now. But you remember the pain. And I, like, mosey on over to the circle. Are we getting Juana or are we doing this first? Why don't you just ask the circle and see what happens? Okay, but, mm, there's still a crystal. There's still a crystal. There's one beam hitting almost the east can we, side. Can we push yeah, over... Let's, let's can, get can we that. push over that crystal first? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, sure. All three of us go over? and push over the big crystal. Oh, the big crystal. The big crystal. I mean, I can go over. Yeah. yeah, I'll go over too. Ooh, yeah, I'll go over to the crystal. Could uh, actually maybe could somebody just make sure that um, Rick is tied up properly? I don't worry, I'm tying myself up. All right, so yeah, Etherleaf, can you make sure that? Okay. All due respect, I don't trust. Why that. don't you want me near the crystal? I just want to go check it out, and you're the best at tying things. <laughs> you're really you're good so good at tying. Are you knocking over the <laughs> brazier or knocking over the crystal? I'm going to the crystal. Cool. Cool. I'll just tie up Rick. Etherleaf, over to Rick. What are you doing, Sarah? What are you doing? I guess Deutsch? I'll go to the brazier. If you're going to go, I don't know how much I trust you. I'm going to go over to the crystal and knock it over. I don't believe you. I just you. needed mum to be gone for a second. <laughs> yeah, the, the bridge right, has a fire is... on it, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. It's just I'll, coals and... I'll go to that. Are you... oh, I don't trust it. Oh, so well, I'm going to go... If I'll follow. Oh, I don't know what pick to a, do. Pick one. Everyone pick one. Crystal. I don't trust Rev. I'll go with crystal. the crystal. <laughs> okay, crystal. Cool. Yeah, also yeah. they're heavy. You need help. All three of you crystal? Yeah. yeah. strong. Sweet. As you head over, uh, Sarig and Doit kind of following behind, Rev a little bit too keen, <laughs> a little peb in their step, <laughs> as they walk towards the crystal, the energy kind of avoiding it as this beam of light is still attacking and mm. hitting this circle. As you get closer, you feel the heat from the green flame which is being taken from the brazier and feeding into the crystal. As you get closer, Rev, you feel this compass in your hand start to get warmer and warmer as you notice that one little wisp of green flame is being taken from the brazier and is being taken away from the larger crystal coming in towards the compass. Reverend, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw for me. 
I technically have advantage on this. Go for it. DC 18. Oh. oh. I have a plus 8 to wisdom. So as just... you get closer, the you see that the two arrows are just spinning faster and faster and faster as you hold this. Oh, honey. That's a 17 plus 8. Uh, so 25. Cool. You feel... That's more than 25. As... You're getting closer, no, not to the crystal itself, but this thing you're holding almost tries to burrow into your hand yeah. and you feel two pins get themselves into your palm as they almost try and extract something from your body. And we'll leave it there. Oh, no! What does it mean? I don't know, that's terrifying, that. You took the key towards the big power source, didn't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> let's uh, not light a single candle, let's take it towards a brazier full of the fun. Oh, uh, yeah, I didn't think about that. We will see you guys <laughs> next time. Thank you so much no, for listening, dumb. folks, when we find out what happens and what that 25... Mm. Will Revriel keep their hand? Will fire be fireful? Will will fire be fireful? Will Rick stay tied to a tree <laughs> until his brother returns? Um, <laughs> will that green whiff get to? Just the- wait till the last <laughs> last episode of this campaign. Years from now, Rick's just still tied to the tree. Yeah. <laughs> just the skeleton. <laughs> the last, the, the final <laughs> image of this campaign is just the skeleton of Rick. Oh, the waiting for his brother. <laughs> <laughs> So by Samuel Beckett. Thank you for joining <laughs> us, guys. Um, we, yeah, we'll see what happens next time. In the meantime, if you want to head across to our Instagram and check out all the behind-the-scenes stuff that we have going on, it's at Merely Players TTRPG. We also have a little filmed campaign over on our YouTube, which is happening every other week <laughs> alongside this. We're alternating them. We got all the video, baby. Uh, which again, at Merely Players TTRPG for Callum's of Winter. And if you want to hear behind the board, a little debrief of this episode. Lots of talk, trying to get information from people that may not have it. Or, well, you might have killed the one that did. Yeah. Uh, head across to our Patreon, which is patreon.com forward slash merely players. And these wonderful merely folk players. will hear it first. Jacob Cote, Patrick Khan, Amir Shah, Jerry Lopez, Teresa Dolan, James Struthers, and Anne Holt. Thank you so much, guys. We really appreciate the support. It goes such a long way for us to keep making what we love making. Um, and yeah. Love making. <laughs> <laughs> love making. <laughs> In the meantime, guys, we shall see you all next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.